What's up guys, this is Sidefic back again with a, another pickups video for you guys. Uh, this will be my last one before the Classic Gaming Ex Expo. Uh, I'm so pumped up for that, can't wait to go check that out next week. It's going to be a lot of fun. Going to meet up with some other YouTubers and we're going to just, uh, you know, check it out, have a good time, have some beers and um, have a blast. So this will probably be my last pickup uh, video um, up until after that. Um, and uh, it's been pretty dry out there actually. I did find some good deals, I'm not going to lie. But uh, it's it's been tough, man. I've had to scour Craigslist and just, you know, different connections here and there to try to find some decent stuff. But uh, it's been tough out there. So um, let's get down to the dirty stuff here. So I found a uh, little thrift store by my house and was able to pick up a couple of titles for uh, three bucks each. This is Banjo-Kazooie, which I already have. But, uh, you know, I'll pick it up and do some trading with it. And I uh, picked up a... DS game. This is Shaman King Legacy. Uh, actually, this is a Game Boy Advance game, I believe. It was $3. Picked it up. I'll check it out. Um, got a really good deal. I mean, I think it's a decent deal. I mean, I've never seen this for cheaper than... Uh, I mean, these go for like 200 maybe 300 bucks. I don't know. They, they're, it's an outrageous amount, but uh, someone on eBay had this misprinted or mistyped. Um, as a lot of people tend to do with turbo graphics stuff is they don't they don't know how to spell the graphics and stuff So I was able to find this Dude had it for uh, 200 bucks or better offer. I threw him out an offer of 150 and he jumped on it um, This was on Friday and uh, got it today. So that was a super quick shipping. It is complete. It's got the um, uh, the game the uh, system card which is an upgraded RAM for the duo and then the instruction manual uh, it's funny, the import version of this, the Japanese PC Engine version of this, you can pick up for like 15, 20 bucks. But the Turbo uh, Graphics version, the American version, goes for quite a bit. It was uh, mail order only, so this was not sold in retail stores. And what this does basically lets you play Super System games on your uh, Turbo Graphics CD, the older version. So I already have a duo, but I, just, I needed to pick this up. I just wanted to, uh, I do have an, an older uh, Turbo Graphics CD, so I wanted to pick that up for that. So that was cool. Uh, I haven't really been going to Goodwills anymore. Just their prices are outrageous. Just uh, they're just a shady company. But uh, had some time to kill. Uh, walked into one and did pick up a couple of games that I did find. Uh, got a Game Boy uh, game. This is Nemesis, and this was uh, $2.99. And picked up a uh, Contra for $2.99, which I already have, but I'll probably bundle this um, and stuff like that. So I uh, went to a flea market where I picked up uh, some titles. I uh, picked up Resident Evil, the director's cut, and uh, it's in mint condition. I mean, it's it, the CD, just no swirls, no marks. I mean, it's just it's in perfect shape. So uh, this was $2. Uh, the guy had a bunch of other titles for a buck, but he wanted two bucks for the dual disc, you know, version of the games. And also picked up um, the G-Police, uh, also in mint shape. Uh, I mean, this thing is just immaculate, so... I remember playing, oops, uh, CD's falling out there, let's hope we can scratch that, but um, uh, basically this, uh, I had this this game for the, um, for the uh, PC back in the day, and I uh, thought it was kind of a neat title, so I decided to pick that up. Let's see what else we got here. Let's move this stuff away. Uh, went to another uh, flea, uh, actually a thrift store, where I picked this up, I got uh, Saga Frontier for $1.49. And uh, this one is in pretty good shape, and it's complete with the manual and everything, so that was pretty cool. Let's see what else we got here. And also at that same place I found uh, Fear Effect, uh, which is like a two or three disc game. I hate how these discs just fall out of here, it kind of sucks, but uh, what do you expect? But anyways, uh, this was $3.99. Uh, there was a coupon for 50% off uh, one item, so I obviously used that on this one, so... That was kind of cool. I uh, found another Craigslist deal where I picked up these for 22 bucks, I believe. Uh, it's Evolution for the Dreamcast. And it's complete with manual and everything. Uh, Dark Wizard for the Sega CD. Uh, it's the game complete. The manual's a little bit bent there, but uh, nice to pick that up. And another copy of 
Dungeon Explorer with a pretty tattered uh, case, but I'll replace that. But I already have Dungeon Explorer, but it was uh, there, so I decided to pick it up, and that was 24 bucks for all three of those titles. Uh, now I come, came across a really good deal, which is a uh, Mario Kart uh, Double Dash bonus set. Uh, hopefully you guys can see it there. This is a little different than the other Mario Kart uh, Double Dash bonus set. Uh, the other one that I have, it's just basically just a little overlay over the original box. But this one, I guess, came with the game and two controllers. Uh, the box is inside. It is missing the game. So I just need two copies of Mario Kart to complete those both Mario Kart Double Dash sets. Uh, this was 30 bucks and uh, it came complete system everything cables the extra controllers in the box and then it came with three titles uh, there's a uh, metal gear solid the twin snakes and that is complete with manual and actually there's a uh, memory card in there and the games are all in great shape and uh, has a little you know warranty cards and all that legend of zelda twilight princess which i already have but uh i'll probably uh, maybe bundle that and then uh, I guess this is, uh, I'm thinking this is the first Resident Evil remake for the GameCube. And uh, it's both discs and manual and everything. So 30 bucks, not a bad deal for that. And this big giant box in front of you now is from a deal that I was able to work out. <coughs> Excuse me. And it was 100 bucks. Um, and let's go ahead and uh, see if you guys think I got a good deal or not. So let's kind of get up here and see if I can... Alright, as you can see, it's a big box full of Sega goodness. So for you Sega fans out there, uh, you're going to like this score. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll put the camera back here and stuff out the box. So first off, we got a... Uh, Sega Genesis Model 2 with the Model 2 uh, CD-ROM drive and a 32X. So you can see that, and it is in pretty good shape actually. It's not too bad. I kind of cleaned it up, and I cleaned up pretty nicely, and everything works perfect. The CD drive works great, um, no problems. Um, and let's go ahead and continue pulling out the stuff in here. Uh, we got a uh, another justifier. So this is the second one that I have. Let's see what else we got in here. We got a SG program pad. Uh, this is kind of neat. Feels kind of it feels nice actually. Uh, I'll probably fiddle with that. We got the uh, power cable, uh, power adapters. Obviously, you guys know that for this setup, you would need all three of these. Yeah, there's one, two, and three. Uh, we got a uh, model one original controller another one of these turbo touch i thought these things were pieces of crap and but every time i seem to pick up a genesis bundle or something there's always one of these in there so it must have been good sellers um let's see here we got a gamepad six what else we got in here rf adapter uh, ev cables and let's check out the games uh we've got uh, jurassic park and let's see, that is complete with manual. We've got Road Rash 2. Let's see, that is also complete with manual. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We've got the Tasmania. Also complete with manual. Not for resale uh, Sonic 2, which I think I already have, and that is also complete with manual. Uh, viewpoint. Never heard of that game. Let's check it out. Oops, I'm already breaking stuff here. Oh, that one is not complete. All right. We've got uh, Final Fight in the original box, which I already have. As you can see, these probably came from a video rental store. You can see the video rental stickers there. The box is pretty tattered up, um, but it is the game. Uh, unfortunately, no manual. So, but I already have this, so it's pretty cool to have. Uh, let's see here. We got a bunch of uh, promotional manuals. We have got some uh, posters. Oh, the user's manual for the Pro Pad. All right, and let's see here. We got. Uh, 
Earthworm Gym in pretty nice shape. No box, but it does have a manual. I think these are those cardboard games. People always threw those out. All right. Uh, looks like uh, Outrun 2019, cartridge only. Uh, we got uh, Sonic Spinball, cartridge and manual only. Uh, let's see here, got some Sega CD titles. We got uh, Sewer Shark Manual and uh, Game. Uh, let's see here, this is a poster for Konami's uh, Lethal Enforcers. Some kind of little promo uh, poster. We got the Lethal Enforcers Manual. Got the Lethal Enforcers Game. We got the Chuck Rock Manual. And the Chuck Rock Game. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. Alright, so here we go. I guess we should start over here. We've got uh, Sega uh, Sonic CD. I think this is like my third copy of this, and it's in great shape. Um, it's complete. Let's open that up here. Yep, everything's in there. Alright. Okay, we've got a sealed Sonic CD. So this is my second sealed one, so now i got four Sonic CDs. Alright, we've got... Uh, Alright, another copy of Lunar. So this will be my second one. Let's uh, take a look here and see what variation of the disc that is. I think this is the one that has different variations of the disc uh, for you out there. Uh, you guys can see there's the disc variation on that. It is complete with manual. Awesome. Alright, we have uh, Cadillac and Dinosaurs. Uh, we have Corpse Killer. Uh, looks like a uh, Who Shot Johnny Rock, which uh, doesn't have a manual, so they kind of, I guess, uh, printed one up for that. We've got NBA Jam. Let's check, let's check. Some of these are... have the styrofoam in there. Oh, this is the one I really wanted. Uh, this is Robo Aleste. Um, check out Classic Game Room. Uh, they just did a review on this, and I guess this is supposed to be the... Uh, uh, follow-up to Musha on the Genesis. Uh, it's supposed to be an awesome, amazing shooter, and uh, I mean this alone goes for like 50 bucks, so that was awesome. That's that's the reason why I really wanted this lot. Uh, we got uh, Cliffhanger, look at that. Uh, we've got uh, Formula One Beyond the Limit. Let's see what else we got here. Stellar Fire, which I believe I already have. Another copy of Silphied, which I also already have. It's a pretty cool game. I love this game, actually. Uh, we've got the, the Terminator. Look at that. 59 bucks at one point. Um, and I hear this game's actually pretty good, so I'll check that one out. Let's see what we've got here. Dracula Unleashed. We've got uh, Rise of the Dragon, which I believe I already have as well. Uh, we've got uh, Power Monger. Now you can see this one, they jacked up and put the stupid stickers on the actual manual, so that kind of sucks. Uh, we've got uh, Ground Zero uh, Texas, which also has a printed manual. And we have uh, over here, uh, the Masked Rider, Common Rider, uh, I guess is that Zio. Alright. And we got uh, Load Star. Uh, let's see here, Nova Storm. Uh, let's see here, Surgical Strike. And last but not least, Echo the Dolphin, The Tides of Time. So um, that was all $100. Um, and look at that. Will it fall? Will it fall? Let's not let it fall. <laughs> let's put these over here. Um, I think it was an awesome pickup. Uh, I was able to get the guy down. He originally wanted 160 for the lot. But... Uh, I uh, let them wait a little bit, but you do run the risk of, uh, you know, them selling it to somebody else, but I guess no one hit them up. Um, and uh, I was able to get a text from them later saying, oh, you still want it? And I was like, well, yeah. And um, they were like, okay, we'll take a hundred bucks for it now. So overall, a great score. Awesome Sega CD score. Um, this one, I'm probably going to bundle it up and maybe sell it. I already have, I already picked up a Sega CD with that last lot. I don't know if you saw my last video where I picked up a boxed one, so this one's going to be for sale. Um, and uh, I'm going to keep all this other stuff. And uh, yeah, so I think the sale of this might recoup some of the money I spent on this. But uh, overall, I think a great uh, week. 
um, and uh, hopefully there'll be more to come. Hopefully we'll find some great stuff at the Classic Gaming Expo. Uh, it's like 2 in the morning right now, I'm a little tired, so if I seem a little out of it, uh, um, I've just been working my ass off, can't wait for the vacation, which is coming up. And that's a, we'll be in Vegas, uh, and if you guys are going to be there as well, definitely look for me, R Rob, Old School NYC Gamer, and a few others are going to be there as well. So um, we'll try to do, take some footage, pick up some good stuff, and, uh, you know, just have a good time. So until next time, guys, you guys take care. Have a great uh, month, and uh, hopefully you guys are having some amazing scores out there as well. So once again, this is Scific, checking out. You guys take care. Lates.